welcome to Naresh Technologies. I am Banga Raju and uh, in this video, I wanted to demonstrate about method overriding in C-sharp. How are you going to perform this method overriding? So, what is this method overriding? Method overriding is an approach of um, re-implementing a parent classes method under child class exactly with the same definition. What is it? It is an approach of re-implementing a parent classes method under the child class with the same signature. So, what exactly mean to say is there is a class called class 1. In this assume like we have a method called as a test. We have a method called a test that does not take any parameters. Now, I have class 2 which is going to inherit from class 1 which is inheriting from class 1. This is class 2 inheriting from class 1. And once class 2 is inheriting from class 1, automatically the test method is inherited to class 2. Now, in class 2, again I can define a method exactly with the same name and signature. If we try to do this, this is what we call as method overriding. So, what is it? It is an approach of re-implementing a parent classes method under the child class with the same signature. Generally, we have a confusion. What is the confusion? What is this difference between overloading and overriding? Let me clarify. Overloading and overriding. Actually, if at all we have overloading on one side and overriding on the other side. What is the difference between these two? In this case, we define multiple methods with the same name by changing their parameters, by changing their parameters. In this case, we define multiple methods with the same name by changing their parameters. But what about this? In this case, we define multiple methods with the same name and same parameters. This is the first difference what we have between overloading and overriding. In the first case, multiple methods will be having the same name by changing the parameters we define. But here multiple methods means we are going to define the methods with the same name and same parameters. Second difference, this can be performed either within a class as well as between parent child classes also. This can be performed either within a class as well as between parent child classes also means within the same class you can overload methods as well as between the parent child classes also we can overload methods in the sense Suppose here I am going to define a method called show and now coming to the child class also I can define a method called show with a different parameter like this in time or otherwise string s c. This can be done within the same class as well as between parent child classes also. See right now this method is overloaded in the child class by changing the signature. We can do it within the same class as well as between parent child classes also. But when you come here, this can be performed only within the only between parent child classes can never be performed within the same class. This can be performed performed only between parent child classes can never be performed within the same class. So, the point here test method here, test method here. Parent child, we can do it only between the parent and child. We can never do this within the same class. Within the same class, if you try to define a method like this, ambiguity arises. So, this is not allowed. This can be done only between the parent and child classes. Okay? And the next difference what we have here is, while overloading a parent classes method under the child class 
under the child class. Child class doesn't require to take any permission from the parent class. Child class does not require to take any permission from the parent class. But remember, while overriding a parent's method under child class, child class, child class requires a permission from its parent permission from its parent. Let me show this practically. What I mean to tell is, suppose in my project, I am going to add a class. I am going to name this class as load parent. Load parent. In this class, let us define public void show. I am going to define a method like this, console dot right line parents show method is called parents show method is called so this is what i'm just implementing over there next public void test console dot right line parents test method is called I have two methods in this class. Now, let us define a child class for this. Class load child colon load parent. I am inheriting. Once I inherit, once I inherit, the parent class members will automatically become the child class members. Static void main create the child class instance load child load child c is equals to new load child creating the instance and once after creating the instance once after creating the instance i can call the methods now c dot the first method is a show and the second method is a test i can call both the two methods let me go to the executing. Yeah, both the two methods are giving the output for us. Now, the two methods are inherited to the child class. Fine. Now, the first method, what is the first method? Show. I wanted to overload this method under the child class. So, watch public void show int i console dot right line this is a child class test method is called the method name is show i'm sorry this is show so in the first case in the first case what we have is parents test method called and here I will change the message as mm. child's show method is called. Okay, This show method, parents show method is called and child show method is called. See, we are overloading the show method. It can be done within a class, it can be done between parent child class also. See, this is a parent class under which I have the show method and this is a child class, again I have a show method, I overloaded. And now you can come here, you can see two show methods available to you. We can watch two show methods that are available here. One is in the parent class and one is in the child class. Two show methods. Fine, here I am just going to pass an integer value and now you can watch two show methods getting called. And understand this, while overloading a parent class's method under the child class, child class does not require to take any permission from the parent class. That is what I showed you. I did not take any permission from the parent class. Directly I came to the child class and implemented the things. But if you want to override a parent's method under child class, child class requires a permission from its parent. 
if you want to override a parent's method under the child class, child class requires an explicit permission from the parent. What is the meaning of it? Watch this method I wanted to override in the child class. This method I wanted to override in the child class. Can I override? I cannot. Why? If we want to override, if we want to override a parent's method under the child class, first that method should be declared by using the virtual modifier in parent class. This is the first important point. If you want to override a parent's method under the child class, first that method should be declared by using the virtual modifier in parent class. What I mean to tell is, see, this method I want to override here. Okay? So, this is a pub method now. I am writing it public virtual void test. This is how the method should be declared if I want to override. So, using virtual here, what is the meaning you know? This method is overridable. This method is overridable. So, remember this method is overridable means the parent class is giving a permission to the child class to override the method. Can the child class override the method? Yes, it can. Yes, it can override the method. Okay? Remember any virtual method of the parent class can be overridden by the child class any virtual method of the parent class can be overridden by the child class if required by using the override modifier. Any virtual method which is present in the parent class can be overridden by the child if required by using the override modifier in the sense you can override here, this is not a mandatory, this is only optional. That is why I said you, if required and also here can be overridden, not must be, can be overridden by the child if required by using the override. Now, can the child class override it? How? Public override void test. What the child class is doing? Override. This is what, this is how the overriding is performed. So, you need a permission from the parent. How the parent gives a permission? By declaring the method as virtual. Watch. Now, this test method, I want to override in the child class. If that is the case, first year, this method should be declared by using virtual modifier. Once we use a virtual modifier, what I said, this method is overridable. But it is overridable, not asking you to override for sure. You can override, you may override, you may not override it also. See, I did not override right now and directly calling the test method now. It will call the parent class test method now. Concentrate on the test method, it is calling the parent class test method. I can do it, not mandatory. If I want, I can do it. So, right now, let us do it now. I will override this method now. Okay? So, public override void test, public override void test. I am just uh, trying to call and here I am writing what console dot write line child's test method is called, child's test method is called. So, right now you can see now, you have implemented a method right now. Uh, the virtual method is going to be re-implemented in the child class now. And now again, watch the output of this. See, we do not have two test methods. One test method only is present. So, here it will not show you two test methods when you try to call. One only present. Run. And watch the output. Child's test method is called. What is that? Earlier it showed parent test method called? Yes. That is what overriding means. Overriding is basically re-implementing. A parent class method is re-implemented under the child class here. Okay? See the fourth difference, this will make you much more clear. Overloading is all about defining multiple behaviors to a method. What is the meaning of it? It is all about defining multiple behaviors to a method. What is it is? You see the show, 
you have two different behaviors for this. This is giving you one output and this is giving you another output, two different. So, like this you can have different different behaviors for the particular method, multiple behaviors. But when you come to overriding, overriding is all about changing the behavior of parents method under child class. This is not multiple behavior, changing the behavior. What is the changing the behavior? See, when I did not define the method in the child class, when I did not define the method in the child class or override the method in the child class, you run this, test is calling parents test method. Which method is executed? Parents test method. But when I override this, now in the place of parents test method, now it is showing you child's test method. That is what? We are changing the behavior basically here. It is not multiple behaviors. It is completely changing the behavior. So, more clearly telling about this particular thing simply. Parent class defines a methods in it. Parent class defines a method in it, defines a method in it and gives it to the child for consumption, gives it to the child for consumption and telling to the child class you can call this method or consume this content. At the same time, parent class is also giving a permission to the child class. What permission? If you do not like the behavior or output of the method, if you do not like the behavior or output of the method, I am giving you a permission, change it according to your requirements. What is that? See, the implemented logic is not satisfactory to the child class. Child class has a chance to re-implement this. That is what we have done right now. See, already the method is implemented in the parent class with some logic. And right now, by default, that logic is executing for us. You can see, I did not like this logic. I did not like this logic. I do not want this logic. I did not like this. You did not like the logic. Okay, do not worry. You have a chance to change the logic. How? How is it possible? Like this. How is it possible? It is possible by overriding the method. Now, see, I am changing the existing behavior, child's test method. But you see, I am come to show. You have two behaviors, two outputs means two different behaviors, but here we do not have two different behaviors. It is only one behavior what we just tell, either parent or either child. Anyone only will come into picture for us. So, this is what we just tell. Simple here, it will never tell you to override the method. If you want, you can do that. Otherwise, you can simply ignore it. Otherwise, you can simply ignore it. Suppose your friends on your birthday has given you a gift. Your friends has given you a gift, okay, like a mobile, like a mobile phone or something is given for you as a gift now, okay. And after giving the gift, they just asked your opinion. Did you like it? If you like it, okay, no problem. Or you do not like this, you do not like this, do not worry if you do not like this. You have a chance to exchange it, you have a chance to exchange it. So, here is the bell now, take this bell now and go and exchange and get whatever you want. So, now you have two options before it. What is this? You can use what is given by your friends as it is or your parents as it is. Not a friends here, let us take parent. Okay, Your mother or your father is giving you a mobile phone now to consume on your body Okay, or giving you a mobile phone. And uh, your father or mother just telling you, hey, mobile phone we got it. If you like it, okay, not an issue. If you do not like it, you can go and exchange and get whatever you want. Okay, Now, you have two options now. What are the two options? Option number one. If you like it, use the phone what is given by your parents as it is. No, 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 you did not like it. You did not like it, then go now and exchange it and get whatever you want. So, you have two options before it. This is also exactly the same. The parent class defined a method in it and given to us for consumption, given to the child class for consumption. Now, the child class can consume the method as it is or re-implement the method also because it has given a permission. How? By declaring it as virtual. And this virtual is a permission to the child class to override and the child class is overriding. You can understand this. What am I doing here? Overriding. And one more thing. The show method here, show method here. What we are doing? Overloading parents show method in child class overloading parents 
show method in child class and what are we doing here overriding parents test method in child class. So, basically the four differences what we just have here first difference what is it in this case we define multiple methods with the same name by changing their parameters. In this case we define multiple methods with the same name and same parameters name will be same parameters will be same second difference this can be performed either within a class as well as between parent child classes also but this can be performed only between parent child classes can never be performed within the same class next while overloading a parent classes method under the child class child class does not require to take any permission from the parent class no need to take permission from the parent class but while overriding a parent's method and child class, child class requires a permission from its parent. How will it take permission? How the parent will give a permission? The parent will give the permission by declaring the method as virtual. If declared as virtual, that is a permission given by the parent to the child class to override the method. And finally, the last one, overloading is all about defining multiple behaviors. In the sense, we have multiple methods. Which method you want, you can just call the appropriate one. But overriding is not a multiple behavior, changing the behavior, all about changing the behavior. The parent has a method behavior and that is re-implemented or that is completely changed under the child class. That is what we call re-implementing this. So, this is how we can apply overriding in our applications. Uh, in my next video, I will just demonstrate a live example how we can just use this overriding in this. Okay, thank you for watching the videos. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Naresh IT.